You might be thinking, hold on, Tim. We discriminate based on age all the time. For example, we don't, uh, you don't get a right to drive until you're 16. You don't get a right to vote until you're 18. Now, we certainly do discriminate based on age for some rights, but it's important to make a distinction on the types of rights we're talking about, okay? There's two types of rights that we're talking about here. One is legal rights. The other is what I would call natural rights or basic rights. Legal rights are those that are given by the government and they're usually acquired by some uh, maturity or accomplishment, performance, like uh, the right to drive or vote. On the other hand, you have natural rights. People will say, that's my God-given right. And those would be natural rights. Those are the rights that literally we would say God has given you those rights. And they're the kind of rights that you get for being human. When you come into existence, those rights come into existence for you. And so the government doesn't grant natural rights, okay? The government protects natural rights. They don't grant them. They're there from the beginning. And so they're rights like the right not to be convicted of a crime without a fair trial or the right to life. If I go to the United States, if I go to the United States, I'm not an American citizen, I can't vote there, okay? Because I'm Canadian. But when I go to the United States, my right to life goes with me, okay? I still get my right to life when I go to the States, um, whether they protect it or not. If I go to North Korea, I should still have my right to life, but they just may not protect that. And so that's the distinction we need to make. Now, there's a bit of a paradox here, because when you ask someone who's pro-choice, uh, what kind of right is abortion? Because they want to say, abortion is my right. It's my fundamental right. Well, if abortion is a legal right, then they really can't complain if the law, the government decides to change the law. And that's what I'm fighting for. I hope that they change the law on abortion. And they really will have no complaint because the government gives laws, takes laws away, changes laws. That's just how it is. But if the, if, um, the, the right to an abortion is a natural right, then it's a right that you get when you come into existence at the moment of conception. Now, here's the paradox. If you, what they want to say is it's a fundamental right that you get at the moment of conception. So what we're saying is unborn women have a natural right to an abortion when they come into, a, into being, but they don't have a right to life. Does that make any sense? If they want to argue it's a fundamental right, then they're saying they have a right to an abortion before they have a right to life. It just, it, it doesn't make any sense.